on TechBuzz, we preview the latest BlackBerry 7 phones, teach you how to install an SSD in your laptop, and find out what comic book superheroes look for in their mobile devices. After some delay, Research in Motion finally announced their new BlackBerry 7 smartphones, the Bolt 9900, the Torch 9810, and 9860. We got up close and personal with the Bolt 9900 during Communic Asia, but not the two torches. So now we bring you the top 5 ways in which the new torches with BlackBerry 7 OS are better than the original Torch 9800. Number 5. A digital compass which positions your phone in a three-dimensional plane. Use it to play cool roller coaster games and in the Wikitude app. Number 4. Improved icons and liquid graphics technology give a more fluid user experience. Plus, there's now a dedicated GPU on board. Number 3. The processing speed has been practically doubled to 1.2 GHz. Number 2. 720p HD video recording. Great for filming videos to show off the view from your office. Number 1. A higher screen resolution for watching those HD videos you shot. And don't forget the funny music videos. We've seen what the new BlackBerry 7 devices are capable of, yet some people might say that RIM has a lot of catching up to do. It's hoped that the next generation OS, QNX, will help RIM to match up to its competitors like iOS and Android. So when will we be seeing such phones? Hmm. I think the important thing from a consumer perspective is, is to really appreciate and understand that uh, we've, we've always indicated that uh, both you know, QNX as well as BlackBerry 7 um, from a marketplace perspective are going to flourish in, uh, and really complement each other in, in many, many ways. Um, not at a point where I can really guide in terms of when uh, you'd see a QNX device, but of course we've indicated that uh, that would be uh, you know, sometime next year as an example. Samsung has released the Galaxy S Wi-Fi, which looks suspiciously like a certain MP3 player. Do we foresee another lawsuit in store for the Korean company? Speaking of Samsung's legal troubles, an injunction stopping the sale of Galaxy Tab 10.1s in Europe was suspended. Well, the good news is that there's no injunction here in Asia, and the tablet is now available in Singapore. If you have a question for the editorial team, simply send it in to us at cnetasia at cbsinteractive.com or post it on our Facebook page and then sit back and watch as we solve your problem in 30 seconds or less. This week's question is, how do I install an SSD in my laptop? Make sure that you get a sufficiently large SSD. Back up your existing hard disk partition. If your SSD is smaller than your hard disk, you may have to move some of the data to an external storage device. First, you have to remove the hard drive from the notebook. Next, install the new SSD and restore the contents of your hard drive. Do note that not all notebooks allow users to change their hard drives. You should check with the manufacturer to see whether doing so will void your warranty. The Singapore toy game and comic convention is happening for the fourth time this weekend at Suntech. We caught up with Marvel's international talent scout, C.B. Sobolski, to find out what sort of mobile devices comic book superheroes would use if they actually existed in real life. I think if Iron Man used a phone, he would probably use an iPhone. He's a cutting edge technology kind of guy, if he didn't invent it himself with like Stark tech. That's very Tony Stark to do as well. Spider-Man's definitely an iPhone guy, but he'd have it all jacked out with like the spider signal and the spider tracer and a super kind of security system knowing then to protect his secret identity. I'm not sure what Wolverine would use, you know, he's another older, grumpier kind of guy, but I think, you know, being Canadian he'd probably stick close to his roots, maybe go Blackberry to stay nationalistic. Now, Captain America, he's a guy from World War II, he's a past, the cell phones, all that technology, all that's what all the kids are using. Back in his day, it's just old school landline. I think anything the Hulk touches, he'd crash, so he'd probably have to use Skype or something over a Panasonic Tough Book, something that's really hard that he couldn't break. That's all for Tech Buzz this week. Thanks for watching and see you next week. I'm Jacqueline, buzzing out.